Bill Gates said, I will always choose a lazy person to do a difficult job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. What's a real life example of this? Story 1. I plug clocks in at midnight so they're already set. Trip the main fuse in the house at midnight to do all the appliances too, lol. Story 2. I worked goods in for an aircraft manufacturer as a summer job at university. Parts would arrive, we'd open them up and key in all the details into a terminal. That bit was long-winded. I discovered the terminal keyboard has assignable shortcuts and set up a bunch of them for all the boilerplate such that keying in an item was about six keystrokes. Save myself and my workmate hours every day, which we would spend pranking each other. Other warehouse staff and staff at other sites. Story 3. The clerk was asked to bring 145 white papers into the office. He doesn't want to count the papers manually, so he printed 145 blank sheets and took them in. Story 4. An older company had a person dedicated to data entry, which boiled down to copying and pasting portions of data from text files into spreadsheets and formatting it into a report. The person originally doing this job spent a full 40 hours a week doing it, but was not very computer illiterate. When they retired, the company hired someone with actual skills. The new hire convinced management to let her work remotely after getting up to speed on the job. The first week at home was spent automating the entire job. The remainder of the multi-year tenure with the company was spent doing whatever they wanted save the 10 to 15 minutes weekly to run the program and to answer the odd email here and there, all while getting paid full salary and benefits. They actually had to add in a few errors now and then to make it seem. Story 5 I was invited to my friend's yearly apple picking. It was a full day of apples and kids and filling a truck for cider. I'm lazy and suggested we make the process more efficient with tarps on the ground. We managed in two hours what historically took all day. We didn't even get to the picnic lunch. Essentially, I ruined apple picking. Story 6 Walkie talkies. In every job I've ever had, these things make your day far less labor intensive if used correctly. Start of lockdown. My nine-year-old son was having worksheets emailed to complete at home. One day, left him at the laptop doing his maths while I made some dinner with my three-year-old daughter, walked into the living room with his dinner to find him asking the Alexa all of his maths questions. Back in high school, a lot of kids used to walk through this park to get home or to school. A portion of the path went into the woods because it was quicker than just walking the actual trail. At one point in the walk through the woods, you had to go up to this small but tedious hill. Nothing major, but it took like 10 seconds of hard work to go up it. You couldn't go around because one side was the small cliff to the creek below, and the other side had dense trees. One summer, a bunch of us got together and decided to just dig through the hill to make it flat. It took like 14 of us three good days to get through it. It was a hard three days, but it was definitely worth it. I saved 10 seconds of hill climbing every morning and afternoon, 150 plus days of the year. And it wasn't just us, but hundreds of other kids who took the same party every day. Sometimes you need to put in a lot of work so your future selves can enjoy the easy way out. Story 7 Worked as a laborer at a nursery one summer. Daily tasks included manually watering 15,000 plants each day, put together a back-of-the-napkin plan to build an irrigation system, and spend the next few weeks building it with some money from the boss. That system is still running 15 years later and does all the work now. I did automate myself out of the job and had to find another eventually. A couple years later, got my engineering degree. I'm convinced engineers are inherently lazy people that will spend a disproportionate effort to make things easier. Story 8 I was working as a stock boy in a supermarket, and when we had to fill the milk cooler, people would burst open a 12-pack of milk cartons and put them in one by one. On my first day, I just placed the 12-pack in the cooler and cut the plastic off one side with my box cutter and yanked it from under it, and the look of the store manager and the other employee who was training me was pure bewilderment. From that day, everyone did it my way. Story 9 My brother-in-law spent a whole summer trying to figure out how to fix his sagging deck at the lake, which he could, in theory, crawl under and jack it up. It would have been a tunneling project. It's a 60 by 60 area all along 2 by 6 boards. Massive. I sat there long enough with enough beers in me to come up with the idea of just cutting a square out of the sagging area, about 3x3 three three feet, jacking it up, then re-screwing down the boards. He paints the thing every spring with a roller anyhow, so it's not like the square cut shows up. He thought I was a genius. I was just lazy. Story 10 
I was a paid intern at a large company during one summer back home from college. My work 95% consisted of using SAP, import to Excel, clean data, and generate reports. Occasionally create some tool someone needed. In the first two weeks after getting the hang of my responsibilities, writing all the Excel formulas needed, and basically automating 99% of my work, I was chilling. I went from actually working from 9 to 5 to maybe 1 hour's tops a day. Finding, importing, cleaning, and reporting usually took hours, but with all the formulas, it took two minutes of clicking. I then helped the other cool intern get his shit set up so we could both just chill. We could take two hour lunches, paid for by the company, and nobody said anything because we were just getting so much more done than any of the other interns. Of course, I helped for special tasks when asked, but those were simple 20 minute tasks building something in Excel. Overall, it was the easiest, less stressless internship of my life. Story 11. When Carl Frederick Gauss, the famous German mathematician and physicist, was in elementary school around 1784, his class was assigned the busy work task of adding all the numbers from 1 to 100, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on. This usually kept the class quiet for half an hour or so. Seven-year-old Carl was sitting quietly with the correct answer, 5,050, while the rest of the class was just starting. So the surprised teacher asked him how he came up with the solution. He replied that he just added 1 and 100 and got 101. Then he added 2 and 99 and got 101. 3 plus 98, 101. And so on. He realized this was a pattern of 50 pairs of numbers, with each pair adding up to 101, and 50 times 101 is 50-50. When I was in college, I had a job at an Italian fast food place with a reputation for its breadsticks. They came in frozen and needed a bit to thaw, so we'd take a giant 3x4 foot aluminum baking sheet, spread them out in a single layer with no spaces, and cover it with a plastic bag, then leave it to sit in the walk-in overnight. The next day, you'd have to get a pair of tongs to move each stick to a new tray, turning them over, then cover the new tray with the bag, and let them sit on the racks for a couple of hours before brushing the garlic butter sauce. This was tedious enough that you'd usually be ready to brush the butter on the first tray as soon as you turned the last tray. I was given this task for the first time one morning and just did not want to deal with it. I realized if I put the second tray upside down on top of the first one, then turned it over and took the first tray out, I got exactly the same results. Blew the boss's mind when I did the three hour job in about 15 minutes. I was given a five cent an hour raise. If I need directions, I'm not asking a man with one tooth. I'm asking a man with one leg. Because he definitely knows the easiest way to get there. Yep, if there's a shortcut, that one-legged fucker knows where it is. You won't be hopping fences, neither. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our YouTube video. If you find our content helpful and enjoyable, please click the subscribe button to stay updated on any new videos we share in the future. Thank you once again. And we hope to see you in our next upcoming videos.